Yo, what is up, buddies? Welcome back to Beaker's Lab. So what is going on, guys? Seriously, how are you guys doing? Is, is everybody cool? Yesterday was the Town Hall 11 update. It was pretty traumatic for some people. <laughs> I logged on today, and I had won like 380 trophies on defense. Like, yeah, that is a totally normal thing that happens to people. Yeah, cool. So, you know, that'll that'll all work itself out, the shields and all that. But hey, guys, I want to look at the new stuff today, the new high-level war stuff. We got this new witch first, and I am so excited about this. The witch definitely needed some love. The witch needed some help, and she got it. Level 3 witch, it's just a slightly better stat increase, but it makes a big difference when you have 10 witches, 12 witches, or, or 15, you know? So we're going to check this one out, and I love this raid right here. He started out with the lightning earthquake combo on the inferno. That is so my style, man. Just like a lazy kill the inferno and then cruise in. Uh, I love it. I can't, I can't wait to get those level 3 witches. I'm going to try stuff like this right here. So look at this right now. Look at this picture here and tell me this doesn't look like it's going terribly. You know, it's like, how are these guys ever going to get a three star? You look at this little group here, and it looks like about eight witches, uh, like one wizard and a king. You're like, a oh, peace, guys. You guys are done. Well, let's see what they can do. All right. So he had a free spell. Yes. Froze it. He has a jump spell somewhere, right? Uh, yeah. And he also had a poison spell because of that donatable poison spell or donatable dark spell. I love that. That really opens up the door for you know, more, more attack strategies because you can get that one more dark spell. It really is going to help everybody across the board. So, you know, I hope everybody's glad that that, that happened. And then you look back at the, the screen here and you will see this guy's about to get three star. It's like, what? Like, when did that happen? All of a sudden you went from like looking terrible to boom, you're through the base. <laughs> now, the main reason was this is just a not a good base design against this army you know anytime you have a ton of golems or a ton of wi uh, witches on an open base design like this it's gonna flood it it's just gonna flood it and you're gonna be like wow what happened to my base my base is gone see you bye so you know that's that uh look at the <laughs> healers are going nuts like every which way try heal, heal the king man heal the king yeah get that king up dude how great is that when you use a ton of healers in a raid and they heal your your hero up from like the brink of death they get him all the way back up and you're like, yes, I, that's what I would do. I would say, yes. Anyways, <laughs> shut up, Beak. So, dude, look at the king. <laughs> look at the king. He's like cocking back. Boom. Yeah. What up? So, yeah, king, how you doing? <laughs> they, that didn't happen before. Did He wouldn't like freeze there, would he? That That's new. That's a little hidden, hidden Easter egg for you guys. So, uh, what's going on? Hey, we got the same guy, Tony. What is up, Tony? You're trying again, and you're trying against a Town Hall 11 base. I like it. Cool. So, three lightnings and an earthquake on the Inferno. Boom, taken out. He also took out uh, a good section of the Town Hall as well. That was cool. So, guys, we have the same exact strategy here. I kind of wanted to show you this because it's the same guy, same attack, but it's against a harder base. A much harder base because of that new defense. Here it comes, buddy. Oh, raining death upon you. Look at this, dude. Oh my. This is so sick, dude. I think I'm gonna get this new defense because of how sick it is. I mean, it looks sick. It seems to do some great damage and it's kind of intimidating. I mean, look, it like leaves a hole in the ground. It leaves a hole in the ground. Did I mention? <laughs> anyway, uh, let's look at what it can do here. So look at the king over, over on the side there. He, he activated the king ability just as it comes and rains down on him. Almost kills him. So, yeah. <laughs> this thing is awesome. I think it's good at least for the distraction. You know what I mean? Like, this is a very distracting defense. It's like raining, like, fire all around you. And when you're raiding against it, pretty distracting. <laughs> Look at it target those poor witches. Witches are like, no! Leave us alone. <laughs> Leaves a hole in the ground. Now look, look who's left. Look at the bottom of the screen here. You got, you got this queen. Just yeah, I'm good. I got some healers. I'll be, I'll be all right. <laughs> Watch this. Oh, you're targeted. Oh, you're done. Peace out. You, <laughs> you should quit, buddy. You're, you're just. Anyway, <laughs> that is that. <laughs> nice job, Tony. So Tony could not get the three star against a much higher level base. So first of all, you know, Joshim is a higher level base to begin with. Plus, he has that new defense. So that just goes to show, guys, that's going to make a big difference. When you're attacking a tunnel 10 or you're attacking an 11, it's going to make a big difference. Now, speaking of that, guys, we're going to show just a normal two star raid against the town 11 here. And we have Spartan. Spartan, 
He does the same attack against the Town Hall 10. Boom. Almost always gets the two star. So let's see what he can do here. Spartan, how you doing? <laughs> Whoa, you're getting rained down upon, man. That new defense, uh, thankfully, was kind of poked out to the side here, and he could take it out pretty quickly. He's going to freeze it. Boom. So that right there is obvious. Uh, if you can freeze it with the Inferno, boom, do it. And also, on defense, if you guys are a Town Hall 11, yeah, don't put your eagle thing right next to your Inferno. Just a, just a thought. <laughs> Anyways, you know, people will realize that. And in a couple of weeks, bases are going to be so hard. People are going to make these things so sick. They're going to they're gonna design around this new stuff. And uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough to three-star one of these bases. I mean, once that new expo is up, uh, everything is... All that new stuff is up. It's going to be really, really hard to three-star one of these bases. So, boom. There it is. Two stars. Uh, look at that new hero on defense. I love how creative they went with that. They made him into a statue. You know, as soon as you start the raid, he turns into a statue. He's like, all right, peace, and just turns into a statue. But his little uh, stick still glows and shoots you. That's creativity. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't really seen him do that much on defense because he doesn't do that much damage that's my only complaint about the wizard dude he doesn't do that much damage i mean once he's max he'll probably do a little bit but his main purpose is to support troops we get that he's mostly a supportive guy he's a really nice guy i, I really just like the guy <laughs> anyways dudes that is enough rambling for today how do you like the new stuff do you guys like it i mean even if you're not a Town Hall 10 or 11, this applies to you. All this new stuff applies to you. We got the new shield stuff, which is crazy right now, but it's going to work out. We got the new donating spell stuff. Everybody likes that. And there's a lot of just new looks to everything in the game. It looks different. It feels different. And that's cool, right? You know, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys aren't too freaked out <laughs> by everything. No matter what, we're going to get used to this, like, real soon. And, uh... Anyways, you know, that's it for my speech today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed the update and my video. If you did, let me know. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.